travel agent. No, you don't understand. The last time we went to Acapulco, we got married. So, the last time I went to Coney Island, I got pregnant. What's your point? No. <laughs> he made reservations at the same hotel. He's wearing my most expensive aftershave. Don't you see? He's gonna pop the question. I think you're being ridiculous. You're just jumping to... Be enough. Talk about you? We didn't have to go out on a date to do that. You think I'm boring? <laughs> no, sweetheart. I think you're fantastic. With a guy like me, a little fantastic goes a long way. I mean, look what we got now. Every couple of weeks you call me when one of your boyfriends don't show up, I tell you... And last but not least is a grandmother of six, Sophia Petrolo. Sophia, it says here that you and Dorothy are mother and daughter. No, Guy. Rose is my daughter now. And you, Dorothy, are the biggest disappointment to hit the streets since the AMC Pacer. <laughs> the lesbian sheds that I don't know Jean. Dorothy oh honey it is so good to see you Sophia oh, you haven't aged a bit you look great <laughs> but secretly I was hoping for Alabama Going to Notre Dame would put such a wrench in our relationship with all those priests skulking about the campus. <laughs> anyway, one night he told me he'd finally made his decision. He was going to enroll at the little junior college just five miles. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm giving you the last rites, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Ferguson. Then what are you doing in bed with him? <laughs> the man's dying, for God's sake. Put her in a bear suit with pom-poms. Do the growl, pussycat. Come on, do the growl. <laughs> that's it, that's it. No, it so happens I was their good luck charm. They won a lot of games with me in that suit. Sure, the other team was always afraid we'd send in the bear. <laughs> Too little, too late, Miles. We're gonna jump out of that airplane. Hey, what do you want for dinner? Nothing too heavy. <laughs> Am I fat? But no hello? There is a cop. In a dress, without a gun. So basically what you have here is a crossing guard thing. All right, all you gals are gonna get locked up in a closet. And us boys are going for a little walk. Wow, were you ever activity? She was a frogman and swam right into the bulkhead. They put a metal plate in her head. Now she gets HBO through her eyeballs. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. If Tyson has another fight, you may want to set her up in the rec hall. This is all hard to believe. If it's not true, Christmas, we exchange gifts we make for each other. Rose, that is a great idea. We'll return all those meaningless, impersonal gifts that we always buy for each other, and we'll make something that, that comes from the heart. That is a terrific idea. Yeah, what do you say, Ma? Unless you can make a lamb's wool jacket. <laughs> and there's a better chance of finding a doctor. Becky conceives in a clinic. Now she wants to deliver in a bedroom. She's got the whole thing backwards. <laughs> oh, this is all wrong. What kind of dope would want to have a baby here? This place makes me want to... Listen, I want you to think now very carefully. <laughs> when you sent out those invitations, you did remember to tell everyone Sophia's really alive, didn't you? Ranch! I'm offended. I mean, how dumb do you think I am? I put it... I made the freaking... Don't I always? I love you. Oh. I love you, too. I look at him, I see Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, I don't want to make a fool out of myself. Pussycat, you're never too old to make a fool of yourself. Those were your exact words when I told you I lost that money. Yeah. And you were right. I never felt so stupid. Of course, I would have felt a lot more stupid if it had been my money instead of yours. 
Ma, what do you think I should do? You know, every time you tell me you love me, I turn around to see who you're talking to. I can't believe it. Believe it. I love you. And everything that I used to worry about in... You know, I... I didn't worry about with you. Like? Like. Like. You aren't going to eat it. Why did you take it? It's the principal. You're always leaving me out of things. Now, Sophia, that's not true. The hell it isn't. What about that dance marathon you cut me out of? Oh, now, come on, Ma. That was different. There was money at stake. We didn't even tell each other about that. I remember I was the first one to arrive. You worked on it. Why? Because the man is blind. Now, would the two of you please keep your noses out of my business? Blanche, you know something when it comes to other people. You're the one who's blind. We've been married for 18 years. And up until then, everything had seemed so perfect. And then one night it happened. He came home, had dinner, walked upstairs and went to sleep. I went into the bathroom and cried my eyes out. <laughs> Drop dead. <laughs> Grant, whatever happened to get him beyond your ego? My ego has nothing to do with it. These drawings are brilliant. Blanche, I have lived with these characters all my life, and I'm the one to determine if your drawings are brilliant, and that one needs work. What's wrong with it? Well, you forgot Melvin the Lonely as Sea Otter. It's more than something you really want to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I've always regretted missing out on that one night of history. Oh, Blanche, I never got to see them. And the closest I'll ever get is Beatle Mania. It's not really the Beatles, but it's an incredible simulation. Time since I've done this, and I'm sorry. You have given me a lot to be thankful for. My wonderful children, my health, a beautiful body, legs to die for. <laughs> A face that is stunningly sexy and yet has the... I want you to keep Hunter occupied while I go after Jake. Go after Jake? Twelve hours ago, you said you never wanted to see him again. I made a mistake. A terrible, terrible mistake. What could I have been thinking of? How could I have let him go? What difference does it make how he dresses or how he eats? What matters is, he's a man I love. The symphony. Besides, I heard him come in hours ago. I think I'll go say goodnight to Bridget. Oh, honey, would you bring me back my heating pad? It's on my dresser. Sure. Oh, Dorothy, do you realize it has been four days since I have enjoyed the company of a man? I know, Blanche. I've been marking the days off on my big ships of the Navy calendar. Oh, if memory serves me, we rushed back to the hotel because you had the runs from that cheap lunch you bought us. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Uh, uh, what is your idea of a friend? Well, a friend is someone who likes you and, and respects you and, and is willing to do things for you. So if uh, I was your friend, you'd be willing to do things for me and respect my wishes? Of course I'd have to. Well, I've asked you to leave me alone and you haven't. I mean... Mr. Broke your doll. It was 50 years ago. It was very traumatic. She was my favorite doll. <laughs> I didn't talk to Gloria for months, but eventually, Blanche, I realized sisters are harder to replace than dolls. So we made up. Go to the hospital. Well, Sophia, you ought to at least see a doctor, honey. The doctor's coming. What doctor? He's a friend of mine. We're going to the hospital. <laughs> Dorothy, this guy is good. He's probably the most learned, respected, important neurologist in the state of Florida. How'd you ever meet a man like that? <laughs> we were judges at a wet t-shirt contest. Alice getting out, gee, that's gonna be rough. I bet after 10 years in the jug, he's gonna be pretty short on foreplay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Someone sitting here? Cataracts or glaucoma. I can see there's no one sitting here. I was just being polite. If you say so. Me, I've got both cataracts and glaucoma. The glaucoma I handle with drops. 
For the cataracts, I had surgery. What do they say about us getting back together? Come on in, girls. See? What did I tell you? Ma, what are you doing? I was having a meeting with my vacation club. It seems there are a lot of children who like to take vacations without their mothers. <laughs> yeah, but then what do you... What do you... Regularly bring home a paycheck and support yourself. Okay, wait a minute. What's this all about? Michael, you are 30 years old. I want you to find your own place, cook your own food, and take responsibility for your life. But, Ma, that takes money. <laughs> That's where the job job comes in. Bless Ida Perkins. Every time he sat down to eat a baked potato. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when did you leave the home, Mrs. Perkins? Oh, maybe a year now. Uh, I don't really keep track. So what made you decide to leave? Decide? Some things in life you never get to decide. Some things just happen. <laughs> Ma, Jane, do you? I mean, you know, what I mean yeah, is I, I... I know what you mean. You didn't tell your roommates that Pat was a woman, did no, you? Well, they just assumed that Pat was your husband, and I wanted to make sure it was okay with you before I told them. Oh, well, listen, Dorothy, I'm not embarrassed or ashamed of who I am. Hey, you know your friend... Uh, and I lie there for a split second thinking George is asleep beside me until it dawns on me one more time that he's really gone and I grieve again I grieve for that man nine years how can I forgive that oh, Blanche honey you need to get up been through Yellowstone Park Rose <laughs> raising children my mother always used to say, the older you get, the better you get. Unless you're a banana. <laughs> well, I think we ought to call up those child services people and tell them we want to keep Emily and raise her ourselves. Brains in your ass, Scott? <laughs> Where'd you get the idea I was a wealthy widow? Oh, Jerry Giordano. I just told him that so he'd take me to bingo. You aren't a wealthy widow? I can't even keep a minimum balance in my checking account. My regards to your lovely family. <laughs> I don't know what you're so upset about. I it was the legitimacy and the honesty and the reality that they brought to almost every episode and the juxtapositions of some very serious stuff that we did over the years um, uh, with... Blanche, you don't understand. I wanted to give up the money and send baby home. Tyler, you can't do that. We lied to Rose. We tricked her into jeopardizing the life of an animal just so we could make a fast buck. We have to tell her the truth. Dorothy, I cannot let you do this. Blanche, get out of my way. I want that car, Dorothy. <laughs> Not Lebanese, Blanche. <laughs> Lesbian. 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 <laughs> I'm with nobody. You know, Ma, it would be very nice if you could be a little supportive. Please, I've always been supportive. Remember when you wanted to run away to Canada so you wouldn't get drafted? <laughs> oh, that was my brother, Phil. Oh, yeah, I got confused. He was wearing your dress. <laughs> That means yes. Gee, Rose, if I closed my eyes, I'd swear I was in Ecuador. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> okay, Rose. On quest. I was gonna use you. Use me. Use me. <laughs> Goodbye, Ham. If you leave now, we can still have our memories. I'll trade all my memories for a quickie. <laughs> Beat it, Tubbo. <laughs> what are they made of? <laughs> Silly putty rose. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Rose. I just want to forget the whole incident. It's been a terrible night, and I am very upset. You mean because Gil dropped out of the... <laughs> and now I'd like to thank all those bake sale participants who raised money for the Religious Cult Deprogramming Center. <laughs> I'm happy to report that Doris Levy's son, Marshall, is now... Ivy Webb. 
with this ring I be <laughs> The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell, I want the dairy or the farmer in the dell. And I pledge my love and loyalty in the name of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> What a terrible night that was. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Something good did come out of it. I dated Floppo the Clown for several months after that. <laughs> you know, his feet really were that big. Call his mother. <laughs> Blanche, what are we going to do? Do you think I should call his mother? I really think you should. All right, I will. I don't want to send him back to an unhappy home. But we're grandmothers. It wouldn't be fair to be this old and have to raise children. What are you guys doing up? We're conducting a seance to contact Liberace. <laughs> we couldn't sleep. Why else would we be up at 4 a.m.? I couldn't sleep either. But I think it was something I ate before bed. What did you eat? Nothing out of the ordinary. A handful of snow caps, a couple of devil dogs. This is just the biggest, best Christmas present I ever got. <laughs> Don't, Kate. Let's do it. Let's get married. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Call me old-fashioned, but we got a proposal here. Let's do it right. Oh, of course. Miles. <laughs> Have you ever been a fruit before? <laughs> no, but having been in the musical theater for 30 years, I've had my share of offers. <laughs> It was a delight meeting all of you. Oh, Mr. Vaughn, don't forget, casting is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I'm looking forward to it. I trust that all of you will be reading for the part of my leading lady. Bother you one more time. Ten packs is all I can give you. I told you that on the plane. I just want to know which way to the baggage plane. Oh. Oh, thank you. And thanks again for the wings. <laughs> Rose, I knew that was you. Lily! Oh, honey, what are you doing? What happened, Ida? I didn't know. Nobody told me that it cost money to get old. I just figured that was one thing you'd get for free. It isn't. The home costs money. The doctors cost money. Medicine costs... Your mother and your father are going to see you through this. Absolutely. In fact, I have a business appointment tonight, and I'm going to call right now and cancel it just so I can be here for you. Daddy, I don't want you to do that. I'll be fine, really. All right. But I'll only be gone for an hour. Yeah. Less than half an hour if she doesn't want dinner. <laughs> Keep your chin up, Princess. Blanche, I hope I can see you outside the hospital. Maybe we could have dinner some night? Oh. Uh, well, do you, do you really need to? I mean, do you really, really need to? <laughs> well, I don't really need to. But I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, geez. The mystery continues. Now, girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully. Try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. It'll help when it comes to solving the mystery. Work. You eat nothing but rice. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Dorothy, a pop sickle stick purse for you, Sophia a popsicle stick potpourri box, and for you Rose two lovely popsicle stick earrings. So Blanche, how are we enjoying ourselves? Greatest dog in the world, a present company excluded. Oh, I love that dog. He was always with me. I thought I'd never be able to get along without him. And one day he died. I cried for a week. And I decided then I would never, ever go through that again. Excuse me, more guests. Don't tarry. <laughs> I love the way you British talk. <laughs> well, hurry back and I'll say more words. Oh. <laughs> Dreyfus. <laughs> I guess I did invite every male in town. Lucas, Dorothy, from the bottom of my heart, Congratulations. I love you both. Uh, Blanche, there is something I must say. Uh, Dorothy, uh, 
Dorothy. Oh, isn't this fun? <laughs> Dorothy, you haven't even touched your Mr. Ha Ha dog. You're right. <laughs> touched him. You're not having any fun, are you, Dorothy? Oh, am I that? Forget it. The only sights we're seeing is the empty parking lot behind the mall. I already showed him that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Blanche, you're free. Why don't you take Sven around? I don't think I feel like sightseeing. Oh, it might do you good, Blanche. I know it'll do you good, and it's certainly a lot healthier than sitting here in the holler. I mean, she's probably worried sick already. But I've never done anything like this. Tell a woman her husband's been seeing me. Mm -hmm. And she'll say, why, that dirty rat, I will kill him. And you say, good news, darling, you don't have to. He's dead. <laughs> you if you see another man just just tweak his nose and say my my sir i do believe you're jealous what about the vapors blonde shouldn't she be overcome by the vapors blanche can i come out now oh yeah hold it just a minute anyway ben got older and i guess a little bit frail and this is the hard part of my story one autumn day, I walked by that porch, and old Ben was gone. I bet he died in the bed he was born in. Where would you like to go on our honeymoon? I thought I'd surprise you and take you to Paris, but then I started thinking, maybe you don't like Paris. Oh. Maybe you'd rather cruise to the islands or visit the Orient. Oh, Richard. Oh, I just love the way that ring looks on you. <laughs> so do I. Hmm. Dorothy, I remember you fondly, and the same goes for Blanche and Rita. <laughs> Wish you were here. No one can reach the third shelf in the pantry. Best sister Ma. <laughs> God, I miss that woman. Now, say what you want about her. We're getting her to lunch. I don't get it. All of a sudden, you two are best friends? Well, maybe I've changed. For once, everything is going well. My sister is in my life. Stan is out of my life. I'm not even going to see him for two whole years. Everything is perfect. Hush, pussycat. I just ankles are swelled up like a blowfish. Let's see how the hurricane's going. Well, you, I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> you were sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you had this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Hi, kids. Uh, hi there, Mr. Terrific. How you doing? Terrific. Uh, why don't you come inside? I can't fly from inside. That's how Superman does it. I have to fly from the ledge. That's how we do it back on the planet. Listen, you are not the woman you used to be. I'd feel terrible if something happened to you. At my age, I can't worry about that. This is special. I've made up my mind. I'm going. Oh, then I'm wasting my breath. You're a grown woman. I can't tell you what to do. I know. Now lend me $1,200 for the airfare. It was admitted. Wasn't it worth the trip to the bad part of town? That guy almost got my purse, Miles. <laughs> almost doesn't count, Rose. Hey, how about those Cajun drumsticks? Oh, I can still smell those Cajun drumsticks. I'm not surprised you put one in each pocket. <laughs> oh, that, that's tomorrow's lunch, sweetheart. In Sicily, we never went to the doctor. We went to the widow Caravelli. Whatever you had... She had a cure. She was best known for this green salve she used to make to treat ear infections. One day she gave a batch to Salvador, the village idiot. <laughs> he misunderstood the little monster's gonna be here in a minute. Oh. Hi, I'm Bob Henderson. This is my son, Norman. Well, hi, Norman. My name is Rose. <laughs> you ready to have some fun? Yes, ma'am. Uh, here's a list of normal. I'm looking forward to it. I don't believe in plastic surgery. I think it's unnatural. This from a woman who bragged she slept with a pig until she was 11. <laughs> no, I think if it makes you feel better to look better, there's nothing wrong with it. 
Then I guess it's just that looking good isn't that important to me. Oh, come on. What are you talking about, Rose? You wear makeup. Roofing nail, have a flat head. <laughs> oh, you're actually paying attention. Look, Lucas, no offense, but uh, hardware doesn't sound terribly romantic. So when you come by tomorrow, why don't you tell Blanche that you took me to hear the Emerson String Quartet? I love it. Do you think they might buy that afterwards if we frolicked in the... Domineering tyrant who totally emasculated him? <laughs> no more calls. We have a winner. I can't believe this. An hour ago, my love... Talk to me, too. Oh, thanks, Blanche, but it really involves Dorothy's friend. Wanted to. You mean she has the energy, just not the desire. Exactly. You know, her mother lived to be 94 and was active right up until the very end. I remember when Grandma was in a wheelchair, she was on the go from morning till night. But she always had time to talk to her grandchildren. Gee, if I close my eyes, I can... I can... All right. Girls. Girls, guess what happened tonight? Give us a hint. The best thing that could happen to a woman... The circus! The circus is in time! No, no, Rose. No. It's about Stan. Well, I was close. So I. Please, I had to turn you from the window so you wouldn't inhale the drapes. So let us begin with Mrs. Louise Blakely. Blanche, there is still time to back out. Now, do you really think you can go up there and betray your heritage? Kathy, I belong in this club. Well, I'm just as southern as, as the fruit of a scuppernong arbor growing proudly by the lazy Mississippi. Lord. Besides that, I'm still in love with the man, and I can't let him marry someone else. Is it me, or is the room suddenly getting darker? <laughs> I quit my job at Borealis. I'm going back to teaching, which means I'm really going to have to tighten the purse strings around here. And this affects me how? <laughs> now, you're not making this any easier. I quit because I wasn't happy there. Would you want me to stay someplace I was... Because of my life, I won't do it. I can't, I can't, I won't. I won't. I won't. Pull yourself together. For God's sake, you're in a psychiatrist's office. <laughs> Blanche Oh, my God. You go on, honey. We'll be right here. <sighs> That's L.A. law. I wondered why Susan Day didn't have a French accent. <laughs> Girls, what am I gonna do? I got a call from a soldier who just returned from the Persian Gulf. Don't fall for it, Blanche. Sal didn't come home from World War II till 19... Oh, it scared me, too, but I told you you were welcome. Okay, okay, everybody, get washed up. <laughs> Rose, I knew you'd get that job, so I made a special dinner to celebrate. Sophia, that's so nice. Don't mention it. When I was shaving my legs last night, it really made me feel good. That you were helping, Rose. That I can still touch my ankles. <laughs> Dorothy. This isn't an ordinary hockey stick. Bobby Hull used this. This is a piece of history. It's a piece of junk. And the price tag says four dollars. Four fifty. I'll take it. Uh, okay, but listen, before you go, uh, come into the house with me. I'll show you the kind of wood oil that I use. Sophia, if you knew now what I knew then. Ah, so what? If you've got something to say, spit it out, Weinstock. Don't push me or I will. <laughs> there, I pushed. Too bad you weren't on a flight of stairs. Ma, ma, you're creating a scene. Look, that was a long time ago. Senor Bill, por favor. Mi hijo tiene fiebre y es solamente un bebé. Excuse me. Here. You give your son this every four hours. And if his fever doesn't go down, you take him to see El Doctor Siegel at 11th and Lincoln. Gracias. De nada. 
I have a slight hearing loss. And get this, it's inherited. And it skips a generation. Skips a generation. <laughs> Yahoo! Uh, <laughs> that is not true. You're just going to gloat about this, aren't you? This is nothing but a big victory for you. Look, I am not going to get a hearing aid, and that's all there is to it. Oh, I'll explain it all later. Right now, I have to go pour on a little Southern charm. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, I might have to eat a little Yankee crow. <laughs> I don't like the look on your face. Bad news. Hey, Masabi, I think the world is in heap big trouble. <laughs> get some sleep the big fights tomorrow words that have echoed from mother to daughter since time began <laughs> okay so i don't turn a phrase like harriet nelson you still better get some sleep i can't ma i'm too nervous about the money no ma i'm now i can call if i want to <laughs> You don't mind, Blanche. I'd like to pay for lunch. Oh, don't be silly, Swian. I mean it. You gave me a great tour of the city today. Oh, oh, oh my nose. So Are you all right, honey? Wonderful, wonderful. I always wanted to have a nose like Joe Frazier. <laughs> Ma, how long were you listening at the door? I wasn't listening at the door. Oh, then why was your face pressed against the crack? That's what the crow said. Get out! I wish you could, but my mind's made up. My baby needs me. What about me, Ma? You've always been able to take care of yourself. You don't need me. All right, what about me? You were always strong and independent even before I got here. You don't need me. What about me? You, you need the Wizard of Oz. Talk <laughs> to me, Barbara. I'm Carol. <laughs> oh, yeah, the whiny one. <laughs> Barbara's your sister, and sisters don't always get along, do they? Uh, tell me about it. How do you deal with that feeling of betrayal? Betrayal for what? What do you mean for what? For that thing. What thing? The thing you talk to. Gotta go. <laughs> Rose, honey, come over here and sit down a minute. Now, Dorothy and I have both been noticing how down you've been lately, and we're very concerned. Oh, it's my work at the hospital. I know, I, I'm the one who volunteered. But it's not easy having dollars. We can barely afford a patch job. But what are we gonna do, go without a roof? Maybe we can talk Sid into letting us pay in installments. Oh, that's a great idea. Now, he's a reasonable man. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't go for it. Okay, a new roof it is. Look, I, I said that payment was due today, not next Thursday. Please, come on, let's dance. I know everything, and frankly, I'm not thrilled. <laughs> of course, if you want to break your mother's heart and leave the priesthood, that's between you and the Vatican. But there are a few things you should know about Dorothy before you get carried away. So, Frank, if you uh, made your decision, well, I think I can serve God and the church. It's all right. Uh, is everyone all right? Oh, oh, everyone's fine. We just had a little accident. Well, we didn't have a little accident. Lily had a little accident. Blanche, please. I'm sorry, I... I guess I'm not used to your stove. Maybe you shouldn't have been cooking on it, darling. Well, somebody could have gotten hurt. I said I was sorry. It was an accident. eating chocolate cake, which we obviously adore, because we want to stay very thin and then drop dead. That's nuts. <laughs> but we 
We might be thin and stay alive. But not forever, Rose. We're not going to stay alive forever. That's Dorothy's point. And when you're going to die, we're going to get a jacket. Thank you, Rose. You know, we are so excited about what you two are doing. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. Oh, I wish I was so sure. What do you mean? Well, I'm having second thoughts. About what? Well, when I met Blanche, I thought uh, she would be the perfect model for the piece I had in mind. You know, sexy, sassy, exciting. Huh? But now... Blanche? <laughs> Blanche? I'm fine. I just feel a little cold and clammy and uh, just a little short of breath. So that's it. You're willing to give us the Donatello triplets if we put your new boyfriend in the show. That's blackmail. That's show business. <laughs> How's everything going? Uh, Awful. Kent Ferguson canceled. We don't have an MC for the talent show. We don't even have... I'm mad at you. Oh, well, I, I can accept that. If you're still going to give me another chance, because I still want to try to be the best grandma in the whole world. Does this mean I can start calling you grandma again? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's better with men. Oh, come on, that's false security. No, it's not. I was safer with Charles. I was never once robbed or murdered when I was with Charles. <laughs> Look, you could just as easily have been murdered living with Charles. I'm surprised she wasn't... Where there. is this school? <laughs> Jenny, what happened? He met a thin, blonde goddess. Uh-huh. One of those girls who has everything, you know, looks, money, brains, a body, and now my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I've been in that position more than once. You've been... really going on here? I made up that flimsy excuse hoping to run into you. Thank goodness it worked out. I've really missed oh, you. wait a minute. What do you think, I'm some kind of an idiot? I mean, you, you just said that you didn't even know Blanche and I were roommates. That's right, and she believed it. Oh, God, you're a wonderful actor. Oh. <laughs> There's no acting involved when I'm around you, Donald. Blanche, please, that's a stereotype. Call it whatever you want. I'm just grateful it's true. <laughs> oh, isn't it great the way we're all getting along? And Michael and Lorraine didn't have... Daddy. Sure, there. I didn't expect to see you here. Daddy, I just heard what happened, and I'm so sorry. I truly am. Oh, don't worry. It's my own fault. If I wasn't such a stubborn old fool. Now, don't be hard on yourself. Well, it's true. I never should have tried that. This isn't meant to impress you. This is just to get you tipsy. <laughs> Richard, you rascal. <laughs> you know, I've made a lot of money, and I've seen a lot of the world, but there's still one thing in my life that's missing. What? Someone to share it with. I was hoping. Where's Blanche? <laughs> how about a, a game of hide and seek? Sure. Great. Yeah. Well, how about you, Norman? Isn't that outfit a little young for you? <laughs> Come on, Norman, let's go. <gasps> that boy hates me. Oh, no, he doesn't. But he's right here in Miami. Kate, I could put together a lovely reception here at the house. And I could take care of the catering. Well, I have always dreamed of wearing a long white gown and marching down the aisle on my father's arm. Who said anything about inviting your father? It wouldn't be much of a wedding without both of my parents. I'd like to teach the world to sing the perfect harmony. That's a scary story, Rose. Well, why don't they call me? I want to get this over and go home. Rose, come here, honey. Come here, we need to talk. What, Blanche? Well, this is the kind of thing I tend to keep to myself, but I want you to know. I got tested, too, so I know what you're going through. <laughs> Footsteps and a man's voice and the alarm went off. It was Lester. He accidentally set off the alarm. Oh, I'm sorry. You shot my bones. I didn't shoot Lester. I'd rather you shot Lester. <laughs> I think I'll pass on the nightcap, Blanche. Go on home, you old fool. Listen, it isn't even the weekend.
Ma, did you turn that on? Poltergeist. Thanks, Dee. And Lord knows we can use the rain. In the news this hour, one of the FBI's ten most wanted criminals escaped convict and under... <laughs> Julio? Hello, Sophia. Why didn't you use the front door? Well, I didn't want to be seen. Well, what's the point? That transmitter at the McDowell's tonight, there's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about... <laughs> this innocent family is brutally murdered. May when I they see that, Rose? Sure. <laughs> I'd have gotten your rose too if my mother'd name me Violet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Vaughn. Oh, Mr. Vaughn, did you hear about the cast change? Cast change? Ronald Bromberg has come down with a flu. He won't be able to play the sheriff. Well, who can take over the part? Hello. <laughs> She's the only one in the cast. Thoughtful of you to bring garbage. <laughs> These are my tax receipts. Our future is in this bag. How appropriate. <laughs> Hi, girls. Blanche, you look great in that blouse. Are those new? I mean... <laughs> is that new? What's <laughs> that? That's terrible. I've never been so humiliated in my entire life. That's not true. What about the time you got caught with the Orkin man? <laughs> Don't comfort me, Rose. <laughs> All right, girls. Thousands of offers. <laughs> Teachers, doctors, astronauts. I even said no to a journalist famous for his work on 60 Minutes. <laughs> now, if that's not fidelity, I don't know what is. <laughs> then I find out that the only man I ever loved cheated on me. Oh, we don't want to stay Oh, yes, we do. Uh, we have to, but just for the one night. Well, there's no need to be embarrassed. We're not here to judge you. We're just here to keep you safe and warm till morning. <laughs> Let me get you some pillows. I'll be right back. Blanche, this is insane. Dorothy, I'm not leaving here without that jacket. I'm with Blanche. We've come this far. After we get inside, we can all split up and look for it. Here are your pillows. Dorothy stands out there feeling so sorry for himself. He's bringing down the homeless. <laughs> Uh, Blanche, will you take over for me, what please? What are you going to do? I'm going to go and try to make Stan feel like a whole man again. Anything you need? Yes, half a man. <laughs> Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Uh, women are made to bear, and so are you. Uh, no such jade as me. you with me, you mean. Okay. I um... I've heard enough. You're in almost two years. It's the curse I don't have. <laughs> I got it, nobody told me. I didn't get it, nobody told me. I figured this is life and went back to my meatballs. <laughs> and then when I stopped, it just happened. How can you say I look younger and more beautiful over the telephone? No, it's true. I just wondered how you knew over the telephone. <laughs> You're kidding. That's great. Okay, I'll see you Friday at four. Bye-bye. Oh, this is so exciting. Big Daddy's going to be here on Friday. Says he has a big surprise. <laughs> well, what do you think? Sophia, that looks beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't you have to be a virgin to wear a white wedding dress? Please, the last time I was a virgin, the Louisiana... Me. <laughs> Good morning. Blanche, I'm giving you 30 days notice. What? I don't want to live under this roof anymore. I'm moving. <laughs> don't give it a second thought. Good morning, lady. Well, good morning, Miles. How was the bird watching? Oh, Blanche, it was thrilling. Have you ever seen a work, Dorothy? Why? Because the man is blind. Now, would the two of you please keep your noses out of my business? Blanche, you know something when it comes to other people. You're the one who's blind. I just found out that Mammy Watkins and Big Daddy had an affair. 
They were lovers. For over 50 years. And we can't even get anybody to do our windows. <laughs> Honey, are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, you sleep well, and, and I'll see you in the morning. I love you. Oh, thank God. I thought you'd never shut up. Oh, and I'll be helping you. Enrique will get involved and put you on TV only if your age discrimination case gets really ugly and the company tries to discredit you, drag your name through the mud, and make you look stupid. I guess we can only hope. Okay, I'll need to get some information from you. Terry, I'm Andrew. Would that get me on the show? No, but if you're ever in prison, I bet it'd get you everyone's dessert. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. The ladies' auxiliary puts me in charge of the variety show, and we can't come up with one decent act. I was just thinking, it's too bad we're not back in oh, St. Olaf. Gentlemen at table five in the blue suit is impotent. Bon appetit. <laughs> Not a dime. Yes! <laughs> well, this is it. My last session with Stan and the psychiatrist. How do I look? Oh, fine. Why? It's so hard to dress for a psychiatrist. Two weeks ago, I got the heart of a 12-year-old. Rose, whatever you want to do is fine with me. I just... I just like being with you. Hey, I better pack my stuff. Arnie? Yeah. I will continue to see Glenn for as long as I please. Is he gonna leave his wife? Ma. Ma, for the first time in a long time, I am really happy. So please, leave me alone. If you're so happy, how come I hear you pacing in your room night after night? I can't sleep. I have a lot on my... The Donatello triplets, ladies and gentlemen. I'll bet those boots have more miles on them than... I... <laughs> Joan Collins' waterbed. Her waterbed. Olga <laughs> Nielsen! <laughs> Oh, that's impossible. Olga always bowls with her twin sister, Sonia. That was before Olga found out Sonia's been sleeping with her boyfriend, Lars, <laughs> and not telling him he had the wrong sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rose Nyland, I can't wait to whoop your butt. <laughs> it's coming weekend? Well, sure I can. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you then, Janet. I love you, baby. What if we got a weapon and we got one suspect with no alibi? Blanche Devereaux, I'm charging you with murder. You have the right to wait, remain... Wait, wait! Why would she bring a steak knife to what she thought was a romantic liaison? It could have been for anything. I'm not familiar with her sexual proclivities. <laughs> what are you, a rookie? 100%? 100%. Tip top? Tip top. Then, Mr. 100% Tip Top, why the hell does she feel like hell? Oh. <laughs> Look, Ma... Wait, I gotta hear this. It could be functional. Functional? Mental. Mental? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. 100% Tip Top. How did you do that, Sophia? The place was packed with old geezers ripe for the picking. I charged them 10 cents a dance. <laughs> Ma, you didn't! Please, I worked hard for that money. Half the time, they'd fall asleep in the middle of a song. <laughs> How would you like to hold Mr. Morelli up for two choruses of <laughs> Sail Around the World? That'll be the day. In fact, there's a line waiting around the block. <laughs> we'll have to install one of those ticket machines like they have at the bakery. Around the world, yeah. I <laughs> get the picture, Ma. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm responsible for making Al do something. Oh, I finally have you all to myself. <laughs> 
Why don't I fix us some drinks, huh? Actually, I don't drink. Oh, then I know what'll loosen us up. We can play a game with my naughty cards oh. from Denmark. <laughs> Aces are high and I'm wild. Oh. <laughs> well, I really don't gamble either. But so do I. Well, then don't. Stay on a few more days. Oh, I've got a meeting with a client first thing Monday morning. Then I'll go back to Charleston with you. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> Look. I know how I feel about you, and, and I flatter myself to think that you feel the same way about me. Now, I, I just found out I'm the most boring person alive. Did something happen to Regis Philbin? <laughs> no. I was listing my accomplishments for the St. Olaf Woman of the Year, and it wasn't until I saw them in black and... Oh, right. Do you like it? Like it? Oh, honey, I love it. Oh, who wouldn't love a wooden brooch in the shape of a turkey's head? Oh, no. No, that's a maple syrup spigot. Anybody else, I'm reporting you to the state dental board. Rose. Now, there's just one more thing before I go. What? Dance! <laughs> Come in. And Ma. You told everybody but me? Honey, I didn't even know if you'd know what a lesbian was. <laughs> I could have looked it up. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. I guess I underestimated you. Well, that's not important. I've got a bigger problem. I... <laughs> oh, well, considering what you've been through, go ahead, Rose. <laughs> she took a vacation to Mexico? And she found this poor, scrawny, helpless little chihuahua puppy on the street. And she brought it home to St. Olaf with her, and she nursed it back to heaven. Oh, Rose, I'd be... Wait a minute. I won't have to wear horns or one of those metal brassiers, Rose. Oh, no, Dorothy. I'm the one that's getting married. <laughs> then I'd love to. <laughs> a blessing for the couple. You invited a rabbi to a moonlight madness party? She has a debilitating disease. And it has a name. I am thrilled. We all are. Well, of course. <laughs> Congratulations. Champagne it is. I can't tell you what a relief it is to just be sick. Not... Blanche, hand me my robe. Here. <laughs> now, listen. We love you two a lot, but you've been here for three weeks, and this living arrangement is not working out. I guess we forgot how hard it is to live with a man in the house. Why? What did I do? Well... You snore, you don't pick up after yourself, and you hardly ever remember to lift up the toilet seat. I hear his voice like he was standing next to me. Sophia, take a chance. Go for it. I didn't mean to hurt your pussycat. I guess I did it for your father. Oh, Ma. That's a load of crap. <laughs> What's wrong? Lucy didn't come home last night. Her bed has not been oh, slept in. Calm down, Blanche. I'm going to call the police. Oh, Blanche, I'm sure she'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that can happen to a 20-year-old girl in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Good morning. Lucy? Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, they do a breast exam. <laughs> Unfortunately, they do know I'll never walk again. Oh, Stan, did you hear that? Yeah, terrible. You got any gum on you? Stan, these poor people. How can we take advantage of this situation? Maybe. <laughs> you know, I think he's just nuts enough to actually turn up at the wedding tomorrow. You're a furry little gnome, and we feed you too much. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, good, you're here. Oh, I'm fine. I was just thinking about what I'd planned to do with my share of the winnings. I wanted to get each one of you something special for being so kind and allowing a lonely old woman to live with you. Oh, so cute. Maybe if we went to a movie, it'd make us feel better. 
Can we afford it? Oh, come on. Now, this is from town. <laughs> Ma. Hey, some of Italy's finest sopranos were former mayors. <laughs> to Shady Pines when you have a hernia. You took me there after I had a stroke? <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Blanche, you talk to her. A wet bar. Blanche! <laughs> Look, Ma, I love you. And I know what's best for you. And besides, I don't want to feel pangs of guilt for the next 20 years. It was our pleasure, Jamie. See y'all. <laughs> I love the girls, but they don't seem as old as you said. It's the lighting. <laughs> A charming man. And so handsome. Huh? Oh, as they say in St. Oh, bye. Ma. Ma. You must be Tommy's boy. <laughs> How's the team look this year? as a fry cook, cook to help put you through college. college. Worse said, than the time... All right, all right, Ma. <laughs> I'll have the surgery. You win. You always win. But you don't play fair. That's why I always win. <laughs> Miami Vice. <laughs> Miami what? Vice? It's with the police department. Oh, I thought he was with the university. No, actually, before you left last night, I thought he was the doctor from the plane. Then Dorothy explained to me that he was the university interviewer. Oh, no, that, that was Michael, the guy I flew the... Selling encyclopedias. Why didn't he try to sell us his set? And you know what else is so strange about it? He didn't bring them in. <laughs> Rose, no encyclopedia salesman lugs around 26 volumes door to door. Are you kidding? In St. Olaf, they carry 52. She me, and I love her, and we want to get married. I'm sorry, Daddy. Seems like every time I'm trying to help you, it just turns out you don't need me. No, that's not true. The reason Margaret and I came down here in the first place is because we do need you. We need your blessing on our marriage. <laughs> It didn't turn out so well, but it was an honest mistake. Besides, something good came out of it. We learned to make souvlaki. <laughs> the point is, Rose, you do this kind of stupid thing all the time. And if you're not doing something stupid, you're saying something stupid or wearing. So, as is tradition, I am ready to accept your various gifts and offerings. You may begin, Dorothy. <laughs> I appreciate your sense of ritual, Ma, but just so you know, I still have shady pines on the speed dial. <laughs> I need both my kidneys. You know what'll happen if I give her one? My ankles will swell, my eyes will puff up. I'll look just like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Blanche, that does not happen. You can live just fine with one kidney. I can't eat this food. I'm going to bed. I'll just take it. You know, Jerry, uh, when I was a little girl, my father misplaced his daily planner, too. <laughs> it was when we were on the way to the state fair. Speaking of state fairs, is it true that you're cheap? <laughs> oh, my goodness, we have company. It's southern. <laughs> Sleeping with your brothers is southern. <laughs> Rose does, we're running out of time. Sophia, if you hated your sister, would you clean the house? I'd put Vaseline on the tips of her walker. Sophia, <laughs> yeah, anymore, they say gay. They say gay if a guy can sing the entire score of Gigi. But a six foot three, 200 pound married man with kids who likes to dress up like Dorothy Lamore, I think you have to go with queer. <laughs> Uh, Ma, I don't know. I mean, he must have had some deep psychological need and cross... I haven't met anyone as good and decent as Rose since Pat died. And I think I'm falling in love.
sing a song. Yes, it's me. <laughs> we just got started, and before you know it, well, go ahead, finish your meals. Comes the time we have to say so long. <laughs> B.B. King does that when he's tired of singing the blues. <laughs> Honey, why don't you sit down? I'll give you some nice lemonade. Thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, something weird is going on around here, Dorothy. Don't be silly. You're just having a little bad luck. While we're gone. <laughs> hey, who am I? Get you? Get out of here. <laughs> Dorothy, do you have the airline tickets? Yes, Rose. And the passports? Yes, Rose. Did you remember to bring Pepto Bismol? Yes, Rose. Dramamine? Yes, Rose. And chewing gum in case we have to pop our ears? Yes, Rose. Did you call a cab to take us to the airport? No, Rose. I called two. At the banquet. It looks beautiful. I look beautiful. Everybody looks beautiful. And suddenly, Charlton Heston walks in dressed like Moses. And he tries to part the dessert table. <laughs> And when that doesn't work, he rounds up all the guests and leads them to the lingerie department of the... Ni <laughs> Rose, you okay? I'm fine. Never better. In fact, I'm so fine that I've decided not to even get my results. Oh, now, Rose. Oh, no. look at all this stuff for the celebrity auction. Linda Evans comp... Chinese people. <laughs> It's a compliment. I am. Thank you, Mrs. Petrillo. Chinese people revere the elderly. In this country, we throw away anything that's... <laughs> I've decided that last night was a bigger disappointment than losing Butter Queen. Do you want to know why? No. no. <laughs> out telling me all the time. How do you think I got pregnant with your brother Phil? Uh, just remember, Dorothy, I'll handle everything. I'm a salesman. I deal with people all the time. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, shut up, Stan. <laughs> Mellow out. What I need is a good talking to. <laughs> I don't care what you say, just, just so long as you care enough to say it. You stink. God bless you, Dorothy. I don't want to talk about it, Blanche. I'm too worried about Rose. I guess we weren't very good friends to her, were no. we?
नवरी लाडकी मोठ्यानी भरी लाग करा रुपाली नवरी लाडकी मोठ्यानी भरी लाग करा रुपाली नवरी लाडकी भरी लाग Ready, la.